Good morning and welcome. It's Corporate Governance Platform brought to you by the Institute of Chartered Secretaries and Administrators of Nigeria, Ixan. I am Fumi Omoburiu. Today we want to look at uh, the importance of succession planning as a corporate governance uh, strategy. And our guest uh, this morning is Mr. John Onoja, ACIS. Uh, good morning, Mr. Onoja. Mr. Onoja, can you hear me? Yes, I'm with you. All right. Good morning, sir. All right. Uh, also with me in the studio is uh, Mr. Kaede Ketefe, FCIS, uh, Head of uh, Research, Ixan. Good morning, Mr. Ketefe. Good morning, Fumi. Good morning, our guest, Mr. John Onoja, ACIS. Welcome to the program. Good morning, our listeners. All right. So let's take this message and uh, we'll be right back. The world is constantly evolving into a knowledge-based economy where skills and competencies constitutes the lifeblood of public and corporate governance. You therefore need to empower yourself to fit into this new world by gaining basic knowledge and improving your skill set in the governance-focused disciplines. That is why every aspiring as well as practicing professional in governance field needs Ixan. Ixan? What is Ixan? Ixan is a leading statutorily established professional body dedicated to enhancing the status and practice of corporate governance and public administration. Ixan members are trained as chartered secretaries and administrators. Who are chartered secretaries and administrators? Chartered secretaries are high-ranking governance professionals with a broad base of skills, unique amongst other professions. They are trained in law, finance, accounting, administration, strategy development and corporate governance. In today's world, chartered secretaries and administrators discharge a wide range of duties and responsibilities, including functioning as chairman of companies, executive directors, non-executive directors, company secretaries, risk managers, compliance managers, board evaluators, and corporate governance evaluators. That is interesting. How then do I become a chartered secretary and administrator? Good. Go to the Institute's website, www.ixan.org. You can also visit the National Secretariat of Ixan at Plot 6, Elephant Cement Way, Alausa Ikeja, Lagos, to get full information on how to become members. Ixan, the hub of governance professionals. All right, Ixan, definitely the hub of governance professionals. Like I said earlier, we're looking at the importance of succession planning as a corporate governance strategy. All right, Mr. Onoja, can you hear me? Yes, okay, great. So when we talk about succession planning, what exactly are we talking about? Yeah, thank you very much for having me on this program. Um, succession planning, uh, also described as a replacement planning. Um, we could also look at it as a process of um, identifying new leaders, developing them to take over the critical roles of an incumbent or fire of the seat when the seat becomes vacant. It also looks upon as uh, preparing a candidate for a plan or an emergency replacement. In companies and organizations, there may come a time where there will be need for replacement. Uh, the replacement can be in the form of a planned one, like when one retires, or it could be unplanned in case of um, a, a calamity that may come up in the form of death or incapacitation. Okay, so how relevant uh, is this to the concept of corporate governance? Thank you very much. Like we we said all the time, corporate governance itself is a set of rules, control, policies, practices, and processes that is used in directing a company. It's relevant to this because you need to ensure that there is a successor in place to carry on the work of the key individual in the business or organization in the event, like I said before, of planned vacancy or unplanned one. It also, it's also relevant because you need to ensure that there are no threats to the execution of strategies and other structures that will ensure the smooth running of the organization or the entity. And again, the last point there is that to also ensure that the going concern of the organization is guaranteed. Ultimately, it retains the investor and 
uh, market confidence. So it's very, very important that we look at succession planning as a key aspect of corporate governance. Okay. It is said that uh, lack of succession planning can jeopardize the lifespan of a business. I want you to justify this statement in the context of uh, corporate governance. Thank you. It's an absolute statement uh, and it's affirmative because the uh, absence of succession planning can bring an abrupt unplanned end to running a business organization. Uh, a vacuum that is created by the special director or a critical role player to steer the ship of the business could put such a organization at risk. Therefore, succession planning, if there's no plan for one to step in in the case of a vacancy, it could jeopardize the lifespan of the business. Hence, we need, there's a need for a well-groomed successor who can step in to immediately and seamlessly ensure the smooth continuity of any business enterprise. The absence of such a plan can jeopardize the lifespan of a business. All right, now, which categories of position do you think succession planning should target? Uh, this is a very uh, interesting aspect of uh, this discussion. Like you said, it's a process, and then we use what we call the critical role identification to look at the um, categories of positions that one should plan, uh, have a succession plan for. There are certain elements one we need to consider before arriving at this critical decision. Number one, the organization will need to identify the key, key critical roles, and then you need to build the success profile. You actually need to nominate the successor, and then you assess the development needs of that successor, develop the talent, and then you measure progress. What this is saying is that um, each organization should be able to establish the critical roles that are valuable in that organization without which that organization may have um, a problem. And so when such positions are identified, one can then have the succession plan for them. To an extent, it all depends on individual organization, but the, the plan will depend on the organization to be able to identify those critical roles that the vacancy in such roles can jeopardize the continuity of the business. And so when those rules are identified, you can then begin to have um, a plan for it. In the Nigerian Code of Corporate Governance, certain rules were identified. Like you begin to look at the position of the managing director, the position of uh, executive directors who are involved in the executive positions in the organization, and in some other organizations, you can look at some lower roles like the financial director or the financial controller or the chief accountant whose absence, even for a day, or whose uh, vacancy, even for a day, would jeopardize the running of that business. For such critical roles that are identified, there is need to have a succession plan for them. All right. Now, uh, is succession planning also important uh, for small businesses and uh, one-man entrepreneurship? Yes, absolutely, yes. Um, we, we need to state here that the practice of corporate governance applies to every organization that needs to succeed whether it is a big one or a small one. The only difference there is the scale of deployment of the corporate governance principles. Like the Nigerian Code of Corporate Governance 2018 stated that it is such that one will plan for the size that is, that is uh, equitable, that is needed, that is applicable to that organization to succeed. So there's no um, one size fits all. But let's look at it. A, a one man business is is one that is con uh, contained by one person, but they also need to survive. And we are talking of survival into the future. We are talking of uh, employing the principle of uh, stakeholderism. We are looking at how the owner can ensure a smooth transition. We're also looking at how to minimize negative effects in the event of departure even of the 
uh, of, of, the, of the founder or the business. So we need to ask some questions. Now, when such businesses are established, do we want it to survive? If yes, then we need succession planning. Do we want it to outgrow or outlive even the founder? If yes, then we need succession planning. Do we need it to grow beyond even the one man that is managing it now? It's a situation where you need to bring in more people. Uh, stewardship will come in. Others who are not even the owner, but we need to come in to manage. Then we need succession planning. So in summary, we can say that as long as the business, whether it is a one man, whether it is a professorship, whether it is a big one, as long as we need to survive now and uh, smooth run into the future, talking of sustainability, it needs to be sustained. Then we need succession planning. And that is the bane of many uh, small businesses today. The absence of uh, proactive succession planning uh, principles. And that is where you see that sometimes when the founder of the business departs or dies, then that will be the end of that business. All because there are no succession planning for such businesses. Thank you. All right. I wanted to offer a few suggestions on how companies can be proactive with succession planning. Yes. Um, as I move into that to uh, give you some um, proactive succession planning principles, I would like also to add that studies have shown that one key element that is the growth and the national survival of businesses in Nigeria and Africa is the absence of this succession planning we have just mentioned. Many business owners, they fear the loss of control or uh, of the illusion that only them can steer the ship to shore. All those are illusions. Others of the view that nothing will ever happen to them. Oh, it is not my portion. Now, when you discuss with small business people, you need to have someone by the side in case of eventuality, they know, are you wishing that I should die? So all those things are primordial ideas that will make our own people in Nigeria and in Africa not to have some planning. Now, going on to the um, suggestions. Number one, I would I'd say that you, there's need for a deliberate plan to have succession planning. There's also the need to adopt a long-term approach, not just in the immediate, look into the future and see that business grow and see that the founder may not be able to even cope with the whole affairs as the business grows and he may not be there forever. Even if he's there, it might be needful for him or her to retire and then allow someone else to take it further. Or somebody that is more technically biased to take over the business around it. Another thing I'll say there is that there's need to also identify critical roles in that business. You need to identify potentials within the organization as well. And when you identify those potentials, engage the individuals to ensure that they are ready. Sometimes there could be some secret plan or succession, and the person you are planning on may not even be ready to take over. So there's need for engagement so that right. you are sure that the person you are grooming for that mm-hmm. role is ready to, to, to take over in the eventuality. Mm. Now, you also... So two more points I want to just... Okay, like, quickly, uh, quickly, Mr. Onoja. Yeah. Quickly, go ahead. You need to train existing talent that you have within the organization. And one final point there, which is very, very important, is that a succession plan is a living plan. You don't do it today and lock it up and say that is it. Situations and dynamics may come up for you to revisit it and review it. And so it's a speaking document that you need to engage all the time. And finally, I want to add that the quick plan Institute of Shattered Secondary and Administrators of Nigeria. Yeah, the experts in corporate governance in Nigeria, they can always come in to help small businesses, big businesses, and even conglomerates to, uh, to have a good succession plan that is necessary and um, essential for their growth and survival. Thank right. you. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. John Onoja, SCIS. Thank you for joining us on the program this morning. All right. I-
Thank you. Thank you. All right. In like manner, I must say thank you to Mr. Kaidi Ketefe, FCIS Head of uh, Research Ixan, who's uh, right here with me in the studio. Thank you for being here and for your support always. I'm sure we'll take an announcement uh, next week of uh, some other programs uh, of the institutes that will be coming up. Thank you very much for me. I'm happy to be here. Our announcement will be taken next week. All right, and big thank you to everyone who's been part of uh, the program. Of course, uh, Corporate Governance Platform returns again next week on Wednesday, 10, 15 a.m. right here on Equity 9.7 FM. I am Fumi Omoburiu. Enjoy the rest of the day.